More than two dozen are dead, including 18 elementary school children in Newtown, Connecticut. Today, President Obama led a moment of national mourning. Whether it's an elementary school in New Newton or a shopping mall in Oregon or a temple in Wisconsin or a movie theater in Aurora or a street corner in Chicago, these neighborhoods are our neighborhoods and these children are our children. There's not a parent in America who doesn't feel the same overwhelming grief that I do. The majority of those who died today were children. They had their entire lives ahead of them. Birthdays, graduations, weddings, kids of their own. Among the fallen were also teachers, men and women who devoted their lives to helping our children fulfill their dreams. So our hearts are broken today. The shooting happened just after 9.30 this morning. Most of the victims and witnesses were young children, so we're going to play you just one account from a young boy who was in the school. We heard banging and the teacher locked the doors and um, we all went behind, we all went over to a corner and the teacher was supposed to keep us complicated. All the police officers had machine guns. One of the first grade teachers died. Details are still sketchy as we record this Friday evening, early Friday evening, but David Farenthold is here uh, to walk us through what we know. Uh, I guess basically what do we know about the chain of events from earlier this morning? Uh, well, what we know is that starting about, as you said, about 9.30 this morning at Sandy Hook Elementary School, that's in Newtown, Connecticut, it's about 65 miles northeast of New York City, uh, a gunman comes into the school, uh, kills a kindergarten teacher named uh, Nancy Lanza, and then kills a lot of the students in her classroom, shoots a lot of the students in her classroom. Uh, in total, there were uh, 18 students who died at the school. It's a school K through four, um, so the students were at most 10 years old. Um, there were also were two students who were shot, died later at the hospital for a total of 20. And then there were also six adults killed plus the gunman. Um, the gunman him took, took his own life at the school. What's, um, what's been confusing during the day is the identity of the gunman. Uh, the original report was that it was a guy named Ryan Lanza, a son of the kindergarten teacher who was killed first. Uh, that appears now, the investigators themselves are confused, but it seems like they have changed that now to be that the shooter was a guy named Adam Lanza, a brother of Ryan. Um, Adam Lanza is age 20. He apparently is the one dead at the scene. Ryan Lanza, 24, unclear where he is today. There is one additional person in custody, one person in custody. Uh, we don't know who that person is. And I'll tell you one more thing. This is a very confusing story. In addition to those 27 dead at the school, there's a, one additional person dead elsewhere in Newtown, Connecticut, at a private home that was found as a sort of, as the police were, were completing their investigation, they discovered this new crime scene. We don't know who that is. And the outstanding questions, one of the main ones seems to be, where is Ryan Lanza? Could he be the deceased? Could he be in custody? Those are both possibilities. At this point, we don't know. What other questions are we trying to answer tonight? Well, the questions obviously are about motive, uh, whether what caused this, uh, whether there were any warning signs, what caused this rampage. As you know, it's the second largest, uh, second deadliest shooting in U.S. history, second only to the Virginia Tech massacre a few years ago. Um, so we want to know what happened. And we also, I think, need to know more about the role that this second person played? Was there just one shooter? Was there, you know, was there some involvement by a second person? Uh, I don't think we know that. We know that either. The, the shooter apparently shot himself before the police could even get there. Is that correct? That's right. The police said that they, as soon as officers got there, uh, they began searching the school, trying to lead students out, looking for the gunman. Uh, and what I was told was that no law enforcement fired a shot. When they discovered the gunman, he was already, if not dead, had already been wounded by himself.